All right, everybody, here we go. We're going to go through a very quick tutorial on setting up uh, Nuendo with your sound card so you can start recording. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to File. Nuendo's already booted up for me to save time. New Project. I select from a template in this case Freddy Firewire is what I'm using you call yours what you like and we must decide where this is going to go so I'm going to put it in my hard drive a new folder and why don't we call this test B okay I don't know why test B sounds good okay Up comes my template let me just shut a couple things off for you and because we're going to work with one track I'm going to supersize it okay let's talk about setting up the sound card go to devices device setup and under VST audio systems make sure that your sound card is parked right here Okay, that's the driver for the sound card I'm using, which is FireWire. And I can check the settings if need be. And yes, I'm in good shape. Okay. So I say, all right. Next thing I do is I go to Devices, VST Connections. And I make sure that my outputs are set to a stereo output so I can monitor back and my inputs I make sure that I have connections so in this case mono 1 is feeding the audio device sound card into the input I'm happy with that next thing I'm gonna do is go file preferences and under VST make sure that you set for tape machine style that works the best for monitoring it's like old school uh, punching in and out with a tape recorder so I apply that and I say okay okay let's go up to record enable arm the track as I call it and when I arm it I can see some levels now I'm not uh, pushing the levels it has a lot to do with the sound card capture software but we can at least see some activity going on which reminds me if you hit F3 on the keyboard you will get this mixer that comes up and of course I make sure that I have an input setting so in my case I'm coming in on input 1 and my output is a stereo bus and I can see indications of levels this is the microphone input and this is the track it's going to F3 will take that away F3 will bring it back I don't need it right now so I'm going to just take it out of the way go to my transport key rewind to the beginning and hit record and as soon as I do that I start to see a wave file and again not as much level as I would usually do but that's another story so I can see I have activity taking place I'm actually gonna go here and change the color so that we can see it a little better there we go recording levels playback is coming up let's go stop I unarm the track I hit rewind and when I hit play, and as soon as I do that, I start to see a wave file. And again, not as much level as I would usually do, but so I have a track recorded. Best I save, file, save into my folder here, and we'll call this test B. 
save. And it's at this point that I can start to make use of this bar up here and use tools. For instance, I can take the zoom tool and zoom in. I can go to the split tool, looks like a pair of scissors, and I can cut this into sections. I can go to the object selection tool and move tracks wherever I want to move them. With the object selection tool you're also able to reduce a file, expand a file, do a fade out, come to another corner, do a fade in, and again manipulate whatever way you like. So there you go, up and running right away. And of course I could go to other tracks and record more audio. Remember folks that all of these audio platforms, mine being Nuendo, whether you're using Pro Tools or whatever software you're using, Audacity, um, they're all cars. They'll all get you to the same thing. They'll all accomplish uh, the same end result of recording audio so don't be scared to use whatever you choose to use and uh, in an upcoming tutorial I'll be teaching you how you can move files across platforms so there you go I'm Professor Red Shoes bye now